Alright, All right. well, a small tribute to Jerry Andrus, our hero, our friend, the most honest guy I know. Even when he was deceiving you with brilliant magic, he was still honest about trying to understand how the mind works, which is what I'm interested in. So I always love Jerry. We really miss him a lot. He's such a great man. Have you ever met Jerry at the uh, Gathering for Gardener meeting? I did, yes. Uh, I, I did the first couple of Gathering for Gardeners uh, where Jerry was there. And I brought Jerry out to half a dozen of our skeptic conferences back in the 90s. And, you know, the trooper that he was, he hauled all his stuff down uh, and set it all up at, you know, age 80-something. It's like, gosh, I hope I have the energy that this guy has <laughs> at that age. It's amazing. So what did Jerry contribute to those meetings and conferences? Uh, well, mostly I think Jerry's contribution was um, showing us how easy it is to fool, to be fooled. Uh, and that tells us something about how the mind works, by how it doesn't work or how it goes wrong. That tells us how it goes right, how things work. And uh, so Jerry's uh, small contribution uh, to neuroscience and psychology is the sort of psychology of uh, deception and illusion, which is important. 